Dear students, in the previous class we discussed about the alcohols react with the metals that is the sodium, calcium, aluminium, how it is going to be react with the that is the metals we are discussed in the previous class along with we are discussed about the esterification that is the esterification means the alcohol uh, reacts with the uh, carboxylic acid in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 which forms an ester, which forms an ester. This process we call as a esterification this process we call as a esterification uh, along with we are discussed about the acetylation in the previous class acetylation means that is the uh, that is acid chloride is going to be reacts with the that is alcohol uh, in the presence of pyruvate is going to be formed an ester and the hydrochloric acid that is the pyridine used in this reaction is going to be neutralizes the that is the hydrogen uh, that is hydrochloric acid produced in the reaction this are all we are discussed in the previous class now we are going to be discussing about the reaction with there is the reaction with there is the acid anhydride there is acid anhydride now we are going to discuss about the reaction uh, with acid anhydride that is acid anhydride anhydride means generally there is we are going to be represent by r c o o r c o o this on treating with the alcohol that is the acid anhydride that is going to be this is the acid anhydride acid anhydride is going to be treating with the alcohol is going to be treating with the treating with the alcohol is going to be treated with the alcohol it is going to be formed that that is the products we are going to be get one is ester the one is ester r c o o R dash one is ester, one is ester, another one is we are going to be get the carboxylic acid that is CO O H. This is the acid, this is the ester that is a uh, is going to form the ester and an acid that is carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid is going to be formed. This is uh, this about the reaction with the acid anhydride. We will take some example for this. If you are going to be taken some example for this, that is uh, instead of this R, uh, we can be taken as CH3. That is CH3, CO, O, CO, CH3. That is, this we call it as a acidic anhydride. This we call it as a acidic anhydride. This is going to be treated with the, that is a methyl alcohol. That is a CH3. OH or C2H5. You can take any alcohol that we are going to be taken that if you are going to be taken that that is a uh, ethyl alcohol C2H5. Then we are going to be here that that is a uh, the product we are going to be obtained is that is a uh, CH3 CH3 COO C2H5. That is CH3 COO C2H5 plus CH3 COOH means yeah, the product form is ethyl acetate. The product form is ethyl acetate. The ethyl acetate and the razor acetic acid. Acetic acid. This is about the reaction with the acid anhydride. Reaction with the acid anhydride. This uh, esterification. Acetylation reaction with the acid and anhydride and reaction with the metals like sodium, calcium. Then uh, we are going to take the aluminium. This is all uh, reactions involves the that is the cleavage of the OH bond. Cleavage of the OH bond. Now we are going to be discussing about the reaction involving the cleavage of CO bond. That is a uh, CO bond cleavage. That in that we are going to be discussing the first one that is uh, the D this cleavage reactions reactions involving cleavage of CO bond now we are going to be discussing about the this reactions involving the cleavage of CO 
one. In that uh, first we are going to be discussing the first one that is uh, about the uh, reactions with hydrogen halide. Hydrogen halide. This reaction we are discussed in the first chapter that is the, in the preparation of alkyl halides. In the preparation of alkyl halides we are discussed uh, this uh, reaction means there is a alcohols there is alcohols means general representation of alcohols you can be written as r dash r o h this we call as an alcohol alcohols is going to be treated with the hydrogen halide hydrogen halide in the presence of anhydrous anhydrous zinc chloride this uh, method we call as the Bruce method this also be this method also be called as a Bruce method of preparation of alkyl halide we are going to be called as that is a, in this uh, that is a alkyl halide is going to be formed that is alkyl halide is going to be formed alkyl halide means this about the reaction with the hydrogen halide in this so what happens that is the cleavage of CO bond you can uh, observe it the cleaving uh, that is cleavage of the this CO bond then the example we can take from this uh, if you are going to be taking some example in example you can take that is a C2H5OH this we call as a ether alcohol the name of this compound we call as a ether alcohol this ether alcohol is treated with the hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride that is hydrochloric acid that we call as hydrogen in the presence of in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride the product obtained is C2H5Cl that is ethyl chloride the product obtained is ethyl chloride plus water that is H2O this about the reaction with the halides reaction with the halides like that only we will discuss some other uh, reactions that is uh, some other we are going to be discussing now that is the reaction with that is the next uh, one in this B reactions with with phosphorus trihalide phosphorus trihalide that is the uh, alcohols reacts with the phosphorus trihalide if we are going to be get the product that is alkyl halide we are going to be get that that is the uh, alcohols generally we are going to be written that alcohols R O H that is the uh, alcohols is going to be react with the phosphorus trihalide the phosphorus trihalide P X B that is uh, we are going to be get that alkyl halide that is uh, or X that is R X plus H3 PO phosphoric acid that is H3 PO phosphoric acid that in this uh, there is uh, we should balance the equation then the equation is balanced you can check it out number of hydrogen atom number of uh, that is alkyl groups and the oxygen atoms and the halogen atoms and all you can it is balanced then you will take the example for this. You can going to take us an example for this. That is a ethyl alcohol. That is C2H5OH. That is ethyl alcohol is going to be treated with the phosphorus trichloride. That is phosphorus trichloride. We are going to be get that ethyl chloride. That is a C2H5Cl plus H3. PO2 that is phosphoric acid. This reaction also we are discussed in the, the first chapter that is halo alkanes and halo organs in that chapter we are discussed that the preparation of alkyl halides in that we are discussed this reaction also. This about the uh, reactions involving the cleavage of the CO bond. Now we are going to be discussing about the some other reactions now we are going to be discussing about the dehydration. There is a 
dehydration means that is nothing but name itself uh, gives the meaning of uh, dehydration means removal of water means this alcohol is going to be that is heating with the concentrated H2SO4 that is the sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid uh, otherwise the concentrated H3PO4 is nothing but that is phosphoric acid that is called as a phosphoric acid or uh, in the presence of uh, some catalyst like uh, anhydrous zinc chloride or alumina this undergoes the uh, dehydration of course undergoes the dehydration that means removal of water to form an alkene we are going to be formed then alkene now we are going to be say some uh, general reaction in the dehydration I said that this undergoes in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid or the concentrated uh, phosphoric uh, acid the phosphoric acid this if you are going to be taking that or CH2 CH2 OH this is the alcohol the alcohol undergoes the dehydration in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid the concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid is going to be formed the, the alkene is going to be formed that an alkene is going to be formed an alkene, alkene plus so the removal of water therefore it is called as a dehydration the reactivity is going to be uh, reactivity of these uh, uh, primary tertiary tertiary undergoes faster rate the tertiary tertiary that is alcohols undergoes faster rate in the dehydration compared to the secondary compared uh, the secondary undergoes faster rate dehydration when compared to the primary now we will see one by one one by one we are going to be discussing now first we are going to be discussing about the primary alcohols how it is undergoes the dehydration means the primary alcohols that is we are going to be discussing about the primary alcohols the first we are going to discuss about the primary alcohol the primary alcohol will take some example that is a uh, uh, that is ethyl alcohol is the best example we can take that that is a ch3 ch2 oh that is a ethyl alcohol this ethyl alcohol undergoes dehydration undergoes dehydration in the presence of concentrated h2so4 concentrated h2so4 and the temperature is going to be nearly it's having that 440 kelvin that is 440 kelvin 440 kelvin it's going to be formed that that is ET is going to be formed that is a ET is going to be formed that is ET is going to be formed plus the removal of the water the removal of the water this we call as a dehydration that is a nearly uh, there is about that nearly 440 means uh, exactly we are going to take under 443 Kelvin we are going to take under 443 Kelvin then uh, if you need you can take that uh, exact uh, uh, temperature of 443 Kelvin it undergoes the dehydration which forms uh, an ED this is about the primary alcohol if you are going to be taken the secondary alcohol that is a uh, secondary alcohol we are going to be taken that is the uh, secondary alcohol uh, that is uh, we will take some uh, example for secondary alcohol isopropyl alcohol we will take that isopropyl alcohol CH3 CH OH CH this we call as a isopropyl alcohol the name of this compound is isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol this undergoes dehydration this undergoes dehydration in the presence of there is a H3PO4 there is a phosphoric acid and the 440 Kelvin and the 440 Kelvin we are going to be get that that is the, uh, the we are going to be get that propene that we are going to be get that propene we are going to be get that propene the third product is propene the product is propane. Like that only if you are going to be taken that 
this about the 85 percent of that is 85 percent of H3PO4 or PO4 that is the phosphoric acid is present at that time there is secondary hulkos and it was the dehydration it gives the that is a corresponding alkene then now we are going to be discussing about the tertiary alcohol when it comes to tertiary alcohol it is a mother example tertiary butyl alcohol we take the tertiary butyl alcohol that we are going to be written C CH3 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 then OH this is about the tertiary alcohol that is a the name of this is tertiary butyl alcohol tertiary butyl alcohol this undergoes dehydration in the presence of 20% of that is a phosphoric acid 20% of phosphoric acid under the temperature 358 Kelvin under the temperature 358 Kelvin we are going to be get the product that is a CH3 then C double bond CH2 then CH then name of this compound is base H2 they are also we can write that that is the addition of that is the removal of water that is a here we are going to be the name of this is 2 meter 2 meter propene we call it as a 2 meter propene that is E and H means it contains the double bond it contains the double bond means this about the there is a tertiary alcohol and there was a dehydration in the presence of there is phosphoric acid so by observing these uh, three reactions we can say that the order of reactivity the order of reactivity conditions we can observe this is it is just containing the it is 20 percent phosphoric acid this uh, tertiary alcohol undergoes the dehydration but uh, this uh, secondary alcohol uh, undergoes dehydration it needs the 85 percent of that is phosphoric acid and uh, temperature also 240 Kelvin then we are going to be obtained corresponding an alkene but uh, in the primary uh, alcohol it needs the sulfuric acid it is strong uh, acid that is uh, this under uh, in the presence of uh, that is a uh, uh, concentrated sulfuric acid and the temperature 443 can be that was the dehydration from the corresponding and alkene. From this we can say that that is the tertiary that is the tertiary uh, alcohols undergoes dehydration in the faster rate compared to the secondary secondary alcohols in the more uh, faster rate when compared to the primary this is about the order of reactivity the order of reactivity of uh, the uh, dehydration of the alcohols until now we are discussed about the dehydration of alcohols uh, in that uh, first I uh, took that primary alcohol example that is the uh, primary alcohol I uh, took that ethyl alcohol that is the CH3 CH2 OH this undergoes the that is the dehydration it is going to be formed that ethene it is going to be formed that ethene plus water that is the, in the presence of an acid that is a concentrated sulfuric acid this we are going to be studied in the mechanism now that is a mechanism mechanism of dehydration dehydration of alcohols we can do not dehydration of alcohols we are going to be studying that is mechanism of dehydration of alcohols in the, this uh, reaction this reaction uh, we are going to be studying of the uh, mechanism of this reaction in the three steps the first step we are going to be discussing the step one Step one. That is uh, in step one, uh, formation of protonated alcohol. What happens in the first step? That is the formation of protonated 
photonated alcohol. This is going to be found that the formation of photonated alcohol. That is, we are going to be taken the alcohol. That is, uh, it can be written as like this. That is, uh, formation of that is protonated alcohol. That is, uh, H plus air is going to be attacked with the that is hydrogen is going to be formed that the protonated alpha is going to be formed that protonated alpha that is called as a protonated alpha this is about the first step in the second step formation of that is carbo cation formation of carbo cation carbo cation by removal of by removal of H2 that is now uh, the second reaction that is it then goes slowly then goes slowly this reactor uh, this step undergoes to the slow rate this step undergoes in the slow rate and it is going to be formed the carbocation. It is going to be formed the carbocation plus water. Carbocation plus water. In the third step, in step 3, that is a deprotonation. Deprotonation. Proto protonation. From that is from that is the carbocation. Carbocation. Deprotonation of the carbocation. In this, uh, you can observe uh, that carbocation, we are going to be written the carbocation. That is uh, hydrogen. If you know, you can write the hydrogen is also. That is uh, deprotonation. That is the the protonation is forms an alkene. It forms an alkene. H that is ethene. In this case, we are going to be the alkene. Means this. Uh, this uh, mechanism is very important for the exam purpose. So many times I asked in the examination, explain the mechanism of that is uh, formation of that is uh, you know, ethyl from ethanol. Ethyl from ethanol. That reverse we are discussed in the, uh, that is the preparation of alcohols. We are discussed in the uh, reverse. That is the, from, in that, ethyl to ethanol. In this, that is the, we are going to be discussing about the ethanol to ethyl. Ethanol to ethyl. This so many times as in the examination, we concentrate on this mechanism. That is the, the first we are this uh, reaction. Uh, the mechanism of uh, this reaction explains we are going to be in the three steps. The first step is going to be the formation of the protonated alcohol. That is the uh, is going to be protonated alcohol is going to be formed in the first step. But in the second step, formation of the carbocation by the removal of that is uh, H2O. In this, uh, it's going to be removing of uh, the H2O, it's going to be formed to carbocation. In the third step, it's going to be deprotonation from carbocation. And the, that is the removal of water from the carbocation, it's going to be formed the alkene. That is, ethene is formed uh, uh, along with the protonation. 